Oh, hello there. So you've sat down, honed your ears, and are ready to figure out just what the heck the story's about. Now let's make this clear. I have absolutely no idea. I'm a voice actor, not the writer. Jeez. What? Yo, oh, I know some of this ain't in the script. Yo, oh, whatever. Anyways, I'm sure you're wondering just what the heck is going on. You're probably even regretting the decision you made when you purchased this somewhere. Unless you're listening to it somewhere else. In that case, we don't like you. Now, let's get this story started. Our story starts with a man named Larry. Hey, how's it going? Does he have a last name? I don't know yet, but I'm sure if you're patient, you'll soon know. I do, you know. Nobody cares. You see... It's Lace. Huh? It's Lace. My last name, it's... It's Lace. Yeah! <laughs> Larry is... Probably the coolest, sexiest, and awesomest man alive. Ah, I see our main protagonist is very humble. I mean, how would you describe me? Well, the script says... Let's see. Daft, unoriginal, and... Whoa. Yeah. Uh, kind of an idiot. No, seriously. Stop reading your description. What's mine? That was yours, Larry. Oh. Yes, I anyways. Larry. A daft, very unoriginal character. Has a story to unfold that will forever change who he is. Who do you think I am, exactly? You probably don't want my opinion. Eh, fair enough. Larry's story starts in the small town of... Uh, Spilgig. Yeah, I... I don't know. Yeah, this this name is... Uh, it's stupid. Ah, oh, jeez. Who wrote this? I don't know. I think, like, some newbie or something that has absolutely no talent ever. It seems like it. We'll read it anyways, though. Yeah, let's do that. In the small town of Spilgig, on a small farm near Lake Recurve, lived Larry and his family. I have a family? You live with people who claim to be your family. Man, I knew there was a catch. <laughs> hey there, kiddo! Oh, hi, Bernie. So, you want to go to the brothel? I heard they got a new shipment today, and I found a few coins in me here, boo! Oh, uh, uh, no, I'm good. Really good. Uh, Bernie, you're 81 years old. Heh! <laughs> Joke's on you! <laughs> <laughs> Bernie, um, who is that? Oh, that's Bruma! Is that a friend, or...? Who what a fine joke! <laughs> of course not! This is my fair maiden from the brothel! <clears throat> I think I just threw up my mouth a little bit. Anyways, I'll catch you later. Let's go, beautiful. Hey, you're my left cabbage in the fridge, Larry. <laughs> Seriously? That is my father figure? Yep. Sorry. Our story continues as Larry hears a knock at the door. Hello, who is it? It's Jack. Open up, man. Oh, all right, I'm coming. Jack is Larry's less intelligent friend. Oh, don't say that. I'm all he's got. Dude, what are you doing, man? I'm just chilling, you know? No, just no. The town festival's today, and you're literally being lame. Let's go! Uh, I probably shouldn't. Dude! Women will be there. Who? 
Well, there's Luna, Lacey, Jennifer, uh, Sarah, uh... Oh, let's go. And as you can imagine, these men were quite desperate. What? No, we're not. Oh, yes, huh? Who are you talking to? Um, myself. Wait for me outside. <laughs> so wait, only I can hear you? It seems like it. That's dumb. Hey, hey, don't make me erase the script's parts about the festival and replace them with Ponyland. You wouldn't dare. Would I? Okay, okay, fine. Please don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. This is a fantasy story, isn't it? Yep, no cars. Great. What's the horse's name? Well, hi there. My name's Gecko. Oh! What the? You talk? Well, yeah. I won't if you don't want me to, though. Man, let's just go to the festival. Righto. Hop on my back and we'll set off. I'm ready. <laughs> After a long, odd ride for Larry and Gecko, they arrive at the festival. People were everywhere. Drinking, cheers, games, and dancing were also everywhere. All right, there they are. Who? All those beautiful women. As they stared at the women from afar, mostly because they were cowards, a girl named Rusty approached them from behind. Hey, you two. Oh, hey, Rusty. What's up? Eh, nothing really. Took a break from the mill to come check out this festival. You, uh, got a job yet, Larry? Well, uh... No, he still lives with his adoptive family. <sighs> Thanks, Jack. When are you gonna move out, Larry? Or make something of yourself? You can do it, you know? I'm honestly just not ready, I don't know. There's so many things I could do, but honestly, I'm not good at much. That's not true. Really? Name one thing I'm good at. Well, I, uh... You guys, check it out. It's the Torque Brothers. Hello there, friend! Me and my bro noticed your eyes fixed upon Sarah and her friends. Keep in mind, she is the one that my heart desires. You will be beaten. What? What I'm saying is, she is mine. Or mine if you fail. Shut up, Lewis. Well, technically she's not yours, so... <laughs> yeah! Did your horse just talk, Esse? <sighs> yes. Yes, he did. Back off, Rico. If Larry wants to talk to Sarah, so be it. Yeah! Or if his pal Jack wants to also. Right, guys? Hey, Rico! The king is about to make an announcement! Alright! Larry! This isn't over, Esse! Just go. Jeez, I don't like those guys. Hear ye, hear ye. The king would like to speak. Hello, everyone. I am here on urgent business. I need to know who the bravest of them all is. M me, sir. Shut up, Mo. Yeah, yeah, yes, sire. I, King Tyranny, am a good king. That's not a lie at all. His name kind of went the other way with that, huh? What was it that you said? said, uh... Oh, that's so true. Oh, man, I believe. Ah, a funny one, eh? Come here, young man. Daddy, no. That's just Larry. You know this man? Daddy? How do you know him, Sarah? He's very fond of me. Of course, as are most men. Hmm... Indeed. All right, this only aids me. Hello there, Larry. Are you fond of my daughter? Uh, maybe? I love that kind of tone, full of confidence. Anyways, I have an offer for you. And what's that? Go to Gavinholm, north of here, and vanquish the beast that terrorizes our town, day and night. Whoa, what? You can't just send him there. He'll die. Hey, he doesn't care, bro! Shut up, Lewis! And if I say no, oh mighty king? Meh! 
I'll just toss you to the alligators. That's not fair. I have decided. Enjoy the festival. And so with the king decided, and Larry quite confused, an adventure begins. Where will it take Larry? Will Jack go with him? Is Sarah a virgin? All of this will be decided in the next episode. Wow, that was a cliffhanger. I know, right?